when Matt Flavor returns, more interviews, and also some behind the scenes from the Madison Square Garden premiere of Power. We're in Madison Square Garden. We're at the, the, the largest premiere for a television series in history. It's amazing. It came out amazing. There's so many defining moments. The highest rated television show for African Americans and Latinas, period. We are at Madison Square Garden. We're about to do the season six premiere. Power season six, the final betrayal at your boy Joseph Sikora, but you know me better as Tommy Egan, and I'm coming for you. Power season six, final betrayal, it's coming. <laughs> This season, uh, for all you incredible fans who've rocked with us, this season six, Final Betrayal, is absolutely ape bonkers. Peace. I'm great, how are you? It's Kayla with Mad Flavor TV, and I'm standing with Joseph Secor, our guy, Tommy. That's right, that's right. What's good? And we're so ready to talk about season six, the final betrayal. Yeah. You, you are a bad mother. Tommy, <laughs> Tommy is not having it this season, all right? It's Tommy a, ain't never had it no season. That's, right, that's true, too. But this season especially, because he and Ghost are so far apart, that the end of season five, to get to a place where he'd actually take a shot at his brother, he's gotta be below empty. And so when he hits Angela instead of Ghost, in Tommy's mind, all right, now we can start somewhere. Yeah. You took everything from me, I took everything from you. Let's be brothers again. I don't think that's gonna fly with Ghost, though. Yeah, I don't know, I think Ghost might be a little upset. <laughs> just, a, just, just a little bit upset. Y'all just been through so much. So tell me, how have you been able to resonate with your character in real life? Well, I think there's a lot to learn from Tommy. I mean, his loyalty is wonderful, and that's the aspect of Tommy that I think I appreciate, and I think that resonates with most people, because he really is kind of the people's champ. But at the same time, you learn from Tommy that to just trust the people around you without giving trust, delegating trust to people that work for you, you turn into a micromanager, you start going, you start getting overwhelmed, which is what often happens to Tommy too. So there's lessons to be learned on both sides. Listen, I feel Tommy because he's just a real boy. Like, he's real. he's real. And listen, now we know that you are a part of the collection of sacks. So we're here at Zach's for this special event. So talk to me a little bit about how you got involved with that. Because, I mean, you got the perfect, you know. I don't know about all that. Stop. No, go on. Go ahead. <laughs> um, you know, a sex, sex style is, is always comfortable but classy. And I, that's something that, and, and the amount, the older I get, the more I can associate with wanting to be comfortable but also needing to class it up a little bit for events, for work. So I think that they, they put out good clothes and it's solid and to be in the historic, I mean, it's historic sex, Fifth Avenue on Fifth Avenue, pretty cool. We're so excited about everything you've got going on. We can't wait for season six. We know you're gonna go off. On the 25th, 8 p.m. <laughs> All right, we'll see you. <laughs> Thank yeah. you. This is Kayla with Mad Flavor TV in New York City, Saks Fifth Avenue celebrating Power Season 6. Can you believe it's season six? I, I, I sometimes have to pinch myself because I think I'm dreaming. Season six, that's that's a long time. And you have been killing your role as Joe Proctor. You have really played both sides really, really well. Uh, tell me what we can expect from your character in season six because, you know, the shit is really hitting the fan. I, mean, I think you could definitely expect a little more of the same with Proctor, but uh, I think the stakes are so high right now. It's, 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 it's kind of lives are on the line, freedom is on the line, loyalty is on the line, so uh, it's, it's, it's scary territory right now. For sure, for sure. So, Team Tommy, Team Ghost, which one? And you gotta pick one. I'm gonna say Team Ghost because Tommy's always trying to kill Proctor, so that's kind of hard to say I'm on your team even though you really- I know, but Ghost keeps putting you in these compromising situations that can cost you your daughter, that can cost you your job, your freedom. That's a really good point, but uh, Joe Shakur, I mean, he's right. It, it, it's kind of hard to be on his team. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah, but you heard him, but you heard him though. Oh my God. <laughs> All right, team goes. All right, well, fine, fine, we'll take that. Question for you. This show, the final betrayal is, is the, this season. Um, what's worse, physical cheating or emotional cheating? Because there's a whole lot of both going on. Which is worse? 
That's really tough to say, which, I mean, they're both pretty bad. I don't know how you decide on that. True, I'm not even trying to dodge the question. They're both terrible. Well, I, I, I don't think there's anyone I'd prefer. Okay. Well, thank you so much, Jerry. No, I, no, I got you. No, I feel the same way. I can't even lie. Thank you so much for stopping by and talking to us, though. Yes, you too. Absolutely. Hey, guys, it's Kayla. I'm here with the beautiful Leela Lauren at Saks Fifth Avenue, New York City, getting ready for Power Season 6. We have come a long way. And, and listen, from now on, I'm not even going to call you by your real name anymore. I'm just going to call you by your name on the show because that is who we love you for. <laughs> so what can we expect from your character this season? Because, my God, last season shocked us all at the end. We're going to have to wait and see how it all shakes out. Angela's life hangs in the balance. She took a bullet for her man. You know, Tommy, I'm very forgiving. I've already forgiven Tommy, but we're going to have to see what happens. I don't know if Paz can, though. You say what? I said I don't know if Paz can or Ghost. Yeah, I don't know. You know, things are really hanging crazy in the balance. I don't know if anybody can forgive anybody this, this time around. So tell me a little bit about how you can relate to your character, um, Angela, in real life. Uh, I think I relate. Uh, I mean, how do I relate to her in real life? I think I can relate to her intelligence and her drive. What about her loyalty? Uh, I do not have a loyalty ethic. If you put my integrity in the crosshairs of being loyal to you, sayonara. Okay, so you're loyal to your integrity, so that's what true. Yeah, I think our country got in trouble uh, with the loyalty ethic. I think a loyalty ethic is a really dangerous thing. Yeah. Now, you know, we've known, we've come to know you and love you as Miss Angela Valdez on Power, um, but we're really looking forward to seeing some new things from you in the future, so what can we look forward to? You're going to have to wait. I have something really exciting on the horizon, but you'll have to wait and see. So you'll be announcing that on social media. Where can people get this tea? Soon. All right. I'm just trying to listen. All right. So the final betrayal is the name of this season. And so you've been a part of a lot of betrayal as Angela Valdez in this show. So we have to ask you, in your opinion, what's worse, emotional cheating or physical cheating? Gosh, I think both can cut just as deep, you know? And it's sort of which comes first, the chicken or the egg. Um, I don't know if you can pick between those. Well, thank you so much for answering and stopping by and talking to us. We appreciate it. Guys, it's Kayla. We're here at Saks in New York City, gearing up for Power Season 6 with the incomparable Lorenz Tate. Appreciate you so much for stopping by. Tell us what we can look forward to from your character in Season 6. Because, you know, he's he a bad dude on the low. Rashad will stop at nothing. nothing. He's going up the political ladder. He is doing all that he needs to do to accomplish his agenda. If that means he's got to throw a little elbow over here, okay. throw a little jab right there, do a little chop right there, whatever he has to do to keep it moving. <clears throat> and Ghost, he's not tripping Ghost. Everybody's like, yo, why are you talking so reckless to Ghost? Yeah. Because he can. Cause he that dude. Because he that dude on the love. I didn't write it. I just play it. And I love playing it. Hey, so this season is the final betrayal. And so we've been asking the cast, and we've got to make sure we ask you, when it comes to betrayal, what's worse, physical cheating or emotional cheating? Oh, my God. All of it. All of it. Um, I don't know. It all depends on the situation and the circumstances. I think it's all betrayal can be very subjective. You know, it never feels good to be betrayed. Um, but, yeah, it's all very subjective. Well, listen, we are so excited about season six. Your character is definitely one of our favorites. We're looking forward to seeing how crazy things get because last season was shocking. Yes. It really ended crazy. This is the best one yet. All right, well, we're excited. Thanks for stopping by and chatting Thank with us, Lorenz. Yes.